Well, Mayor Adams took exception to the way a longtime tenant housing activist spoke with him last night. It was a heated exchange during a town hall, and he implied the way she came at him was racist. Take seven's Henry Rossoff spoke with the activist and has more insight into what happened in the room. Hi there, Henry. Hi, uh, Tamson. Hi, Shirley. The activist that got into this intense back and forth with the mayor says, in her view, it was simple. The mayor just didn't want to answer a tough series of questions on rising rents, but the mayor was very quick to escalate the situation, and all of this, we found, may have come down to, at least in part, some cultural misunderstanding. I'm the mayor of this city, and treat me with the respect I, would, I deserve to be treated. I'm speaking to you as an adult. Don't stand in front like you treated someone that's on the plantation that you own. The racially charged and frustrated response came from Mayor Eric Adams at a town hall event in Washington Heights and in response to longtime tenant activist Jeannie Dubnow. She rose, pointed at the mayor, and criticized him for appointing the members of the Rent Guidelines Board. The board just voted to increase rents by 3% on one-year leases. Why are we having these horrible rent increases here and we tracked down Doob now for a Zoom. She says she had little choice but to stand up and be more assertive because the mayor and his team were being highly controlling of the community event. I felt I had to say what I wanted to say, which is that Mayor Adams is the enemy of tenants. In her view, the reason the mayor lashed out at her and evoked race was fairly straightforward. To avoid answering questions. He avoids answering questions. That's what he does, and he lies. But Adam seemed to take particular exception to the pointing by Dubnow. Don't be pointing at me. Don't be disrespectful to me. Speak with me as an adult because I'm a grown man. Democratic political analyst Basil Smichel says that's where this gets more complicated. Smichel believes there were some things that went unsaid in that exchange. People may not even realize. There may not have been racist intent by um, the woman in this town hall meeting, um, but many African Americans were raised and admonished, never point, um, because that is a sign of disrespect. Um, it also has some uh, uh, racial connotations. It's almost akin to calling someone a boy. That's how it's received, despite the fact that it may not be intended that way. Mayor Adams was focused on announcing his budget deal today. Ayanna just covered that and did not take questions on this topic or add anything. But it's not the first time he's pushed back against members of the public reporters, for that matter, for not understanding his worldview as the city's second African-American mayor, whether that criticism on his part, I should say, is fair or not, Tamsin and Shirley.